James here, and today we're going to talk about syntax and statements in Java programming. In the last video, we set up Eclipse in the Java Development Kit and made a Hello World program. We're going to talk about <coughs> what this Hello program really does. First, syntax is the way that we have to format code for it to be read by the compiler. The compiler takes the code and turns it into bytecode, which is then read by the Java Virtual Machine and tells the computer what to actually do. If we don't properly type our code and miss a semicolon or a curly brace, the compiler won't know how to turn your code into bytecode and will throw an error message back at you. This error message will appear down in this tab right down here. And <clears throat> it's pretty informative to tell you the line number that it took place on and which token basically was thrown in the air. To get started in this Hello World program, the first line we see is a public class app. So right here. Um, basically, everything in Java is contained within a class. We'll get into classes later down the tutorial line, but basically, for now, just know that's where all your code will be residing. And in this class, we see the next line down is a public static void main. So right here. Basically, what this line is saying, this is the entry point, or the first lines of the program that will be run when we hit this run button up here. So basically the first line to be run is the system.out.println hello world and then the semicolon at the end. Let's break this down, let's break this line down one by one. So basically the first thing we have here is the class that we're calling. So the system class and inside of the class what the dot denotes is a basically accessor. So we're going to access the out variable. Variables will be touted on about in the next tutorial. So the out variable contains a method, so another dot, print line. And the first thing, so part of the syntax, is the left parenthesis. The left parenthesis basically saying, oh, I'm going to start calling a function or a method. The, those two terms are used interchangeably. In Java, we usually call them methods. So the first thing that we see in this method is a double or a double quote. The double quote basically says, oh, I'm going to pass in a string. A string is a type of variable, which I will talk about in the next video. And in this string, we're going to put hello world. And then the other thing is now a closing double <coughs> quote and a closing right parenthesis. And a semicolon at the end here says that this statement is now over. Execute this line of code. So, let me go ahead and clear the screen, and <clears throat> when we run this, we see that we get hello world. So pretty much that is one statement. Let's go ahead and type in another statement. So if we say something like system.out.println, and then put in hi. I am a man. Basically what we're saying here is now the same thing. We're going to access the system class and inside the system class we want to access the out variable and inside that out variable we're going to access the print line. The out variable in itself is actually a special type of variable that is public and basically what that means is everybody can access it. And inside that variable it happens to have a method called print line. So that's pretty much it for this uh, main method. So we see how we have the opening curly brace for the main method. We also have the closing curly brace. See how we have the opening curly brace for the public class app. We have the closing curly brace. That's pretty much it for syntax. So just remember whenever you call a method you have a opening left parenthesis, closing right parenthesis, and then a semicolon at the end. Whenever you create a class, you have an opening curly brace and a closing. Whenever you create a method, opening curly brace, closing. So just a word of advice, whenever you call a method, just do this as you type it. So system.out.print line. Just you know, make sure you close it and put the semicolon at the end and then do all your stuff inside of it. Just prevents uh, stupid errors from cropping up later, and that's about it for this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next tutorial.